Hello, I'm Lois Wack, and I'm a candidate for town moderator. And since I've only been in town for a short period of time, I really thought it was important that you get to know who I am. My family and I moved to Sandwich from the town of Farmington, Connecticut, after living there for over 20 years. I spent 26 years as a law enforcement officer before moving here and only leaving that position to relocate my family. I held many positions within the police department, but the highlight was that of a community police officer. As a community police officer, I was assigned to different areas of town. One of the areas that I was assigned to was a very large shopping mall, West Farms Mall it was called. As a police officer at West Farms, it was my responsibility to deal with whatever issues arose. From deciding if the building needed to be evacuated because of a bomb threat, or moving along a large crowd that had been loitering. My second assignment was in a smaller section of town dealing with businesses, residents, churches, a public school, and a very exclusive girls high school. I ran meetings that dealt with all kinds of different issues. Some of them heated, some of them not. But it was my responsibility to facilitate those meetings and come to a conclusion. I would then go from that high stress, multifaceted meeting and go read to a first grade class or to go teach a police related course to a fifth grade class. Both had to be done in a professional manner. In 1998, I was honored by the Connecticut Association of Women Police as their police officer of the year, having been chosen from a multitude of candidates throughout Connecticut and I then went on to represent Connecticut at the international level. I have held many offices in both professional and civic organizations, ranging from committee chair to president and parliamentarian. All of these organizations followed Robert's Rules of Orders and it was my responsibility to make sure that those rules were followed. In the world of law enforcement, there are laws written as well, and if an officer doesn't follow those rules, it could cost them their job, or worse, somebody their life. So when you deal with following rules, regulations, and laws most of your life, it becomes second nature, and I expect to extend that philosophy as town moderator. Now the issue has arisen of a conflict of interest. And any conflict of interest is a perception on the part that has that conflict. I can't prevent anybody from having that kind of a perception. I can, however, assure you that I have contacted the State Ethics Commission and they have assured me that the only time there would be a conflict was if, in their terms, there was a personal financial gain. I explained to them about appointing members to a finance committee and about the upcoming special town meeting involving a joint public safety complex. And again, they assured me if I had no personal financial gain or my husband, it wasn't a problem. When my husband goes before the finance committee, he's doing so on behalf of the police department. And in so doing, he's doing it for the betterment of the town of Sandwich. Now, whether or not the town of Sandwich gets a joint public safety complex, and if I'm the town moderator moderating that meeting, has no effect either on either one of us. My husband is still going to be the police chief, whether his office is in a new public safety complex or it remains on Route 6A. Again, his job is to make sure that the town of Sandwich has what they need for their own public safety. And somebody said, so what if your husband is attacked, personally attacked at one of these meetings? And I can assure you that in 26 years of law enforcement, I have been personally attacked many times. But as a law enforcement official, it's your responsibility to let that attack simply roll off of you. And I can assure you that my husband is perfectly capable of handling his own attacks. 
he doesn't need me. What we need to think about are, what are the important traits of a moderator? And I've already explained to you, I've run meetings, I've dealt with laws, Robert's Rules of Orders, Parliamentarian Laws, and the town meeting times. I have a background in finances, both in my civic involvement as treasurer, and my initial college degree was going to be in finance. My dream was to be a CPA. It just didn't happen to work out. I want to try to figure out ways of getting more people to attend town meeting. I love some of the things that Ms. Tian has done, and I certainly am going to have conversation with her to keep many of those things intact and as well trying to get more people to attend town meeting. So in closing, if you want a town moderator with a background in rules, regulations, and in enforcing them, I'm your choice. If you want someone with a background in finances and in running smooth meetings, I'm your choice. If you want a chance to speak and be heard at town meeting, I'm your choice. And now I'm very interested in hearing what you have to offer, what you have to say, what you feel. So I offer you my email address. Please contact me with issues, questions, or perceptions that you want to talk about. My email address is lois.wack at gmail.com. Again, thank you so very much for your time and please be sure to vote on May 10th.